Are y'all familiar with who Gene Deal is? Yes. No. The guy who's the expert on Puffy. Yeah. So Gene Deal. He's a what? <laughs> he a puff expert. So Gene Deal was actually a bodyguard, a former oh, bodyguard Lord. of, well, I think it was big. Don't quote me on that, but a former, well, basically he was a bodyguard, bodyguard for bad boy, big and puff, whatever. But Gene Deal has said more negative stuff about puff, I guess after he got fired or puff not fucking with him or whatever. Um, he said more negative stuff about Puff than anybody on the internet, than anybody on the internet. Um, one of the things that he's saying is that if Puff go to prison, that, that he'll lose his life and he don't care what happened to him. Check this out. The shares and revolt. Listen, there is no... He has to do that because no company wants to do business with somebody who, who is being accused, have allegations against them for sexual misconduct and deviant behavior. Nobody wants to do business with that. All the shareholders, it ain't nothing that he's given up. They like, yo, listen, give me that. Take they said, they did a ditty. Take that, take that. You understand? They're going to take that from them. The shareholders is going to say, yo, listen to me. We all going to pull out. <laughs> no ditty. Oh. But we all going to pull out our shares and everything if you don't give up what you have in the company. Did you see that video that went viral A Diddy pacing around the airport after his houses got raided? I seen that video. I seen that video. And I seen that look in his face before. <laughs> I seen that look in his face. You know what I'm saying? Um, when he was with the same gang and uh, Mike Owens, a.k.a. Mike Cock, everybody could tell him. D. Ferg did a collection for him because he didn't know how he was going to pay his rent and he didn't know how he was going to uh, 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 pay his rent. Uh, child support and his cardinal because he had one of those uh, drop top cabarets Volkswagens. So Mike gave 5000 I wasn't giving him nothing. I'm just telling you right now. D, D was just collecting money for niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yo, man, we got to make sure because he want to kill himself. He going to kill himself. Diddy had that pace and he had that look in his face that he know something may be wrong or they may have something on him. Because they took things out of there. We may not have seen what they took, but they had bags and boxes of stuff that they took out of there. So he knows. He's getting a play-by-play -play of what's going on. And even back then, doing that City College, when he was... When he was fired from Uptown Records. He was making statements about doing this stuff. He had the same look in his face. Yeah, he looked worried, man. I'm not going to lie. For a second, man, I felt bad for him. For a split second, but yeah. Like, everybody, I get all kind of hate mail, IGs, talking about that I'm trying to take a black man down. No, 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 no. I went through every step you supposed to go through when you got a problem, you got a situation, you got an issue with a man. You understand? I get in contact with him. Tried went to mutual friends. Let's sit down and talk. What you did to Wolf Mother wasn't right, bro. You don't talk to her like that. If Wolf was alive, he'd take your head off. You understand? Do y'all think that this guy is just bitter or do you think that he actually got, because everything that he's saying, and I know a lot of people are saying that Gene Deal is uh, because he was somebody that was close to Puff at one time. A lot of people are saying that Gene Deal has um, an inside track on how Puff thinks and all this, and he's made a lot of money and done a lot of interviews of talking about Puff. Do you think that a lot of these people are talking out of being bitter or do you think that some of these people are actually 
uh, have valid arguments um, about how it is that they see Puff. It can be both. We would never know who's telling the truth or not because we have seen people lie on people. We have seen women lie on men. We have seen men lie on men. So it's like we, he honestly, he do sound kind of bitter, but then again, I, that might just how he come off, but he might be telling the truth. You never said that we never see women lie on people. You forgot that part. You never you said, said what? what? I said she never said that women lie. She said men lie on women and men lie on men. <laughs> no, I didn't. I said there's women that lie on men. I heard women And then I said there's men. men that lie on men. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Listen, we listen, Anton. We's black, okay? We family. We all got family members who hate us for no reason. You think you better than everybody, and they're fair weather friends, right? Mm. When they with you and you spend the money on them, they your best friend. But when you when you cut off the tap or the spigot, or when they can't live up to their obligations, and you have to cut them off. They try to find any way to vilify you. Mm. And that's how Gene Deal comes off to me. He's like a bitter family member. I actually know someone who <laughs> does security now for Puffy. I'm talking about driving his kids around and all that stuff every single day. We mm. actually train dogs together. You talk to that guy about Puffy, it, I imagine that that's how Gene Deal would have sounded 20 years ago or 30 years ago. This guy gets a camera put on him for one reason. To talk crap on Puff Daddy. That's it. Delivers. That's true. That's it. And one thing we love is attention. It is the number one currency in Black America. So he's gonna say whatever he has to say to get that attention, the spotlight on him. Because without Puffy, who the hell is Gene Deal? He's nobody. So I don't believe the word he says. I don't even believe Cassie. If you want to keep it a buck, and I don't like P Diddy. Do but you? Do you? I, do you believe Cassie, Quentin? I, I I don't I don't believe any woman from twenty years thirty years ago I don't I don't believe half these people. Do you, you believe Cassie Q? Oh no. I, I think yeah. to believe Why them they like probably would have. There's like a time frame like something happened to you tell talk to the cops don't come back like the whole money grab I want some money for my story is it's, it's, it runs amok around the fact America. that you didn't press criminal charges against this dude you tried to get a payout whatever Diddy was doing Cassie was in on it she can't sing what was the only what other reason would Puff Daddy have to keep you around you was his little SEX toy down for whatever we all had one of those before in our past she was down <laughs> for whatever and when she married that white dude and realized that he was really a personal trainer and he really was like going to the gym in spandex every day trying to make money she was like you are not <laughs> able to you are not able to keep me in you know living the life that i become accustomed to i mean with puff she was riding private jets riding private jets anton with this dude the guy's net worth is two million uh, I live in California. We know, I don't you believe know. his net worth is $2 million. Yeah. So she had to do a money grab. And I'm telling you, if you've ever been laid up with a woman, there's some called pillow talk. And white dudes are the biggest, the biggest, like, con artists when it comes to trying to convince women to do stuff. Even bigger than black dudes. He was like, babe, you mean to tell me you did all that? Why don't you just make a fake... A, 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 a charge against this guy and just get a quick 30 million he won't go to jail just make it a civil suit i can literally hear in my mind this dude coaching her on what to do to get a quick 30 to 40 mil out of out of diddler mm. and she just executed the plan flawlessly and once you pay one the that's when the blood is in the water and the rest of the sharks gonna come but i think diddy has diddler has an ace in the hole because I'm sure he was recording this stuff and he's like, if I go down, everybody's going down. I'm naming names, dates, all that stuff. And that's why you kind of see a lot of people are very flustered. They're very scared because Diddy about to drop some bombs on everybody. I don't think nothing's going to happen. I could be wrong. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't either. I'm a, I'm a wait and see kind of, I'm a wait and see kind of person. I think he nasty, but I don't, I don't think he did nothing to like, Ross level like federal time. If, type we had, thing. if we had diddler money, who wouldn't be nasty? Like, come on, Not bro, me. Like, I can't do no. it. No, I'm just saying, like these rich white people, these rich white people be doing some dirt. 
So poor I'm white people, like poor not. white people, and poor black people be doing some nasty stuff. True, right? you true. Can find but a those party every day of the week. trafficking. Like I think that if Daddy was smart, he would have a way to cover that ish up. Like, if you ever go to Quentin's part of town, it's wild over there. That yeah. that wasn't that was downtown. I live like thirty minutes other way. Sir. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Just come to Cali, come to LA. You will see all the crazy stuff you ever need to see, and you will understand that that's damn near a part of the culture at this point for people who have a lot of money. Like Diddy wasn't doing nothing that ninety percent of rich dudes ain't doing. Diddy yeah. ain't never professed to be nobody holy or morally upstanding. He's always been the party dude. Like. And Cassie was his little party object. She left because she was like, I don't want to do this anymore. You know, women, they get there. And then she was like, I'm going to leave. Two years later, she was broke. And she had to make a play. You know, she had to run a play on his ass. Yeah. Yeah, I'm supposed to go to Oklahoma City. Uh, pretty soon, I'm supposed to be going to see uh, Kev's mom and, and daughter. So. I'll yeah. be here. Hey, I got to check on them, and then I'm gonna come and check on Quentin. But if y'all ever go to, if y'all ever go to Quentin City, um, be safe. Wrap it up. No, let, 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 let's be clear. You came to Oklahoma City. I live in the suburbs. I don't live in Oklahoma City. How y'all always make that as an excuse? Because I live outside. You of do the it. Residence. You do yeah, it. Yeah, it's a difference. You do it. Time. You do it. I'll be like, all right, man, what y'all city is broke. Oh, I don't really live there. I'm in the dog. Well, you gotta realize, uh, like, when when the black people start moving to North Oklahoma City, the white people move to where I live now. They just white people just keep going north and north as the black people are catching up with them. Well, they definitely hanging out downtown, <laughs> boy. Because listen, <laughs> listen, I think the downtown or or Oklahoma City, boy, y'all got some wild holes over there. Oh my god. <laughs> It's crazy. They openly wild too. That's not an open, like a uh, broad general representation of what we're, we're conservatives. We're against that in Oklahoma. That's we're not red what all, That's not what we're I said. All, we're red in all seventy-seven counties. That's not well. Not not when it comes to sex. <laughs> but no conservative conservative values when it came to sex, which I'm not sure that anybody. I don't. I don't know if there's any really anybody that's conservative when it comes to sex. Um, I think that some people are a little bit more liberal than others, but um, I think some people just like missionary. That's conservative missionary. Okay, you your turn, my turn. Let's go. Missionary is one of the best positions. That's conservative. The best. It's one of the best positions, especially if you look it in her eyes and spitting in her mouth. It's better on the beach when you can look out your bedroom and see the, and see the o and see the ocean. <laughs> she say spit in my mouth, but I spit in her face. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, my bad. They like that though. I'm telling you. Try it. Listen, try it. missionary is for the chicks that you love. Yeah. That's for the woman that you love. Um back there's when you're feeling lazy. No, nah, missionary is for the woman that you love because you can look in her eyes and tell her that I love her and, and whisper sweet nothing. Back shots is for that is for the bitch that you don't really care about. If I look in her eyes, I'm gonna come fast, bro. I don't know, you're a superhuman. Girl, I'm <laughs> nothing sex, I can't do nothing sensitive. I gotta be totally non-emotional, like or else I'm gonna be like, oh God, like immediately. You know, hmm. somebody know said, "Hey, Grandma you. just heard that." Boy, you know it's after hours. This ain't the millionaire morning. How you think you got here? Why are you Grandma up? How you think you got here? Grandma, and Grandma, and Grandma know more than you think. Shout out to Granny. Right. She was in freaky. Let, let, let's let's be clear. Grandmas nowadays are forty five, so that ain't saying much. <laughs> That's true too. <laughs> and great grandmas is fifty nine. So That's a fact. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk though, but nah, that's um like my grandma. My grandmas used to be old and decrepit and gray and can't walk. Yeah, and they did. They did. Mm -hmm. My grandma's y'all's age. Nah, my granny used to be going on walks all the time. Like I walk me, bro. She was on. <laughs> but yeah, man. But yeah, we you know you know the black people you know we. Well, that's one thing we do well, you know, 